Hey guys, what's up? It's LD. Welcome back to another video. Um, so today I'm going to be reviewing new flavors from Brahms. They got six new flavors in, um, so I'm pretty excited to try these for you guys. I'm going to try a little bit of each of them and let you know what I think. Okay, I'm just going to list out all the flavors for you guys. Um, so this one is a spicy mango raspberry fiesta sherbet. What? Um, this one is Cookie Monster. You know how much I love Cookie Monster stuff, so I have high expectations. This is the Deep Raspberry Ganache. This one is Peanut Butter and Jelly. This one is Strawberry Blondie. And then we've got Oatmeal Cookie. Okay, so I don't have descriptions for any of these. Um, so I'm just gonna taste them and see how they turn out. Um, this is the Oatmeal Cookie. Smells good, man. This smells good. Um, it looks to be an oatmeal type base, and then it's got, looks looks like cookie chunks, and then it's got this swirl in it. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it looks very cinnamony. So, here we go. There's definitely cookie pieces in here. They're not soft either, they're crunchy, which is interesting. I mean, it adds a little bit of texture, but I just expect them to be soft. I think there might also be a cream swirl in it too. I don't know. Okay. The base is interesting because it does remind me of oatmeal, like oatmeal cookie. And it tastes like oatmeal cookie, but there's like this strange aftertaste. I don't really know how to describe it. So I would say initially it tastes like oatmeal cookie and then there's just kind of this twang like right before you swallow. There's just like this twang like at the very end. Um, that's just, I don't, I don't know what it is. When I think of an oatmeal cookie, I think of a soft baked oatmeal cookie. These cookie pieces are crunchy. I've had better oatmeal cookie ice creams for sure. Do I think this is bad? No. Would I get it again? Uh, maybe. This is okay. The cookie pieces are crunchy. There's like this weird aftertaste that I'm not quite sure about. Yes, it tastes like oatmeal cookie. Yes, it tastes like cinnamon. Yes, it has cookie pieces, but I don't feel like any of those elements are like at the top of their game. I feel like all of them are just kind of mediocre. Um, so oatmeal cookie for me is going to get a 7 out of 10. We're going to do strawberry blondie. Um, this looks like it's strawberry ice cream with blondies in it. I don't know. Um, again, don't have descriptions, so I don't really know. But here you go. Strawberry ice cream, blondies in it. Looks like there's some caramel too. This tastes like strawberry ice cream. Um, I don't really feel like you can taste the blondie or the caramel flavor. Um, there's like a slight hint of caramel if you get like a good chunk of it. But overall, um, the strawberry just overpowers everything. The blondies do add a texture, but honestly it just seems like there's some type of like cake in here or maybe <laughs> a weird strawberry um, that got mixed in. So you can't tell that there's blondie or caramel um, just because the strawberry flavor is so overpowering. That being said, Brahms makes an excellent strawberry flavored ice cream. Um, but this isn't what it's supposed to be because it's supposed to be strawberry blondie. Um, but you can't really taste the, the blondie or the caramel that appears to be in here. Yeah, it just tastes like strawberry ice cream with like little textures of little little pieces of cake in there um, that you can't tell what the flavor is. It just tastes like strawberry. Um, so I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I need some chocolate in my life. So next we're going to do the deep raspberry ganache. The picture that I took a picture of appears to have like this raspberry ripple in it. That does not appear to be here. But whatever. Um, Looks very ganache, so here we go. Mm. 
This stuff is dangerous. Mmm. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like this one, but I do. Okay. I need to stop. So I know I was just hating on Brahms for the um the appearance of this deep raspberry ganache ice cream because I didn't see any raspberries. The looks are deceiving because this does taste like raspberry. This tastes like one of those chocolates that you get in one of the, the Russell Stover hearts. You know, the one that's filled with raspberry. Yeah, they made that in ice cream form. This is so rich and it has like this brownie batter texture and it honestly tastes like brownie batter with raspberries and these chocolate chunks mixed in. Um, this is addicting and it tastes good. Um, man, I really, if, if you like chocolate, like if you like super rich chocolate and you like raspberry with your chocolate, this is going to be the ice cream for you. Like, I'm not even a huge fan of raspberry and chocolate, but I love this. Um, this is gonna get a nine out of 10 from me. Um, I would recommend this one if you're a chocolate and or raspberry lover. This is the Spicy Mango Raspberry Fiesta. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Okay. So this is kind of melted because I've had it sitting here for a little bit and it's a sherbet. This is a sherbet. Wow. This is weird. They were not kidding about the spice. Um, I've never had spicy ice cream before, and honestly, when I saw this flavor, I thought, what is your problem? Why would you ever do that to ice cream? This is just so weird, like, once you swallow it, it just, like, like, my throat's on fire a little bit right now, um, which is so weird after ice cream, because normally when you eat ice cream, it's, like, soothing and you know, makes your throat feel good, but this just kind of lit it on fire, like after you drink something very acidic or... Uh, they nailed the mango flavor, like, I love this mango flavor in here, it, it's so good. And they nailed the raspberry swirl too. The flavor of this ice cream is amazing. Um, I really like it. It's just so, like, eating this is so weird, like after you swallow, your, your tongue and your throat are just burning. But it's so good, you just keep eating it. But this is good, man. I like it. I really do. Um, I would get this again, for sure. Um, if you like mango, and you like raspberry, and you're somebody who likes to try different things, I would recommend this one. Um, I'm gonna give this spicy mango raspberry fiesta sherbet. Um, I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten. It's pretty good, and I am surprised. Good job, Brahms. This is PB and J. Um, it looks like vanilla ice cream with peanut butter chunks, chunks, and raspberry jelly swirl. That's what it looks like. But we'll see. Look at these chunks of peanut butter. All right. Here we go. So this is pretty good. Um, I've always been a bigger fan of strawberry jelly on peanut butter and jelly than grape jelly. Um, so I wish they would have used strawberry jelly um, instead of grape. Um, I feel like the base of this ice cream, I think it's just like either sweet cream or vanilla. Um, and then the the peanut butter chunks were really good. I enjoyed those. The only downside I feel like to this one is I feel like this uh, grape swirl tastes a little bit like like Tylenol or like cough medicine or something that I some medicine that I had as a kid because I think it's good. It just reminds me of medicine, um, like in the aftertaste. If if this would have been strawberry, this probably would have got a ten out of ten, um, but it's not because I feel like it tastes a little bit like medicine just because of the grape flavoring. And 
I feel like that with a lot of grape things, so it might just be me. So if you if you like peanut butter and jelly things, you like the salty and sweet combination, this really does taste like a peanut butter and jelly in a cup. It really does. I don't I don't think I would get this one again. Uh, just because of that the aftertaste reminds me of medicine, which it might not be for you. I might have taken weird medicine as a kid. Um so I'm gonna give this one We're gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Last but not least, um, we are going to do the Cookie Monster. My boyfriend Nick tried this um, a few nights ago and I did not eat any, um, but he said he thinks the blue is a birthday cake and then it has, um, I don't know, it's got chocolate cookie and um, cookie dough bites, I think. Here we go, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see these huge chunks, but they're pretty large. Um, okay, here we go. So I think he's right. I think it is a birthday cake flavor. Maybe not. Yeah, it tastes like a cake flavored ice cream. And then it's got the cookie dough. And along with the cookie dough, there are these chocolate cookie pieces. The chocolate cookie pieces taste like, I don't know if y'all ever ate those, um, the Bluebell ice cream sandwiches, or any brand ice cream sandwich, I guess, but it tastes like, it tastes like the sandwich part of the ice cream sandwiches, like the chocolate cookie part that's soft. It seems like they just crumbled a bunch of those up in here, which tastes good, because I mean, it's it's cookie and with more cookie. Who doesn't like that? The base tastes like birthday cake and it's good. The cookie dough pieces, I love I love cookie dough, so they're good. Um, these chocolate cookie pieces are also good and they're so big. I love that. I love having um, a bunch of mix-ins. This is really good. I would for sure get this again. Um, probably go get it again tomorrow. This one would probably be really good as a shake. I saw somebody getting it as a shake while I was there and I thought that was an excellent idea so I'll probably do that at some point. I love cookies, cookie dough, and ice cream so I mean doesn't get much better than this. Um, this is gonna get a 9 out of 10 for me. So to recap, I need to taste this again. Okay I'm gonna rank these. Number one for me with the shocker is gonna be the um, deep raspberry ganache. This is gonna be number one. Number two is going to be the Cookie Monster. Number three is the Spicy Mango Raspberry Fiesta. Number four, we're going to do the Strawberry Blondie. Number five, we're going to do the PB&J. And number six, we're going to do Oatmeal Cookie. So overall, I feel like Brahms really did an excellent job with these flavors, especially the, the front three. Um, and, and I mean the back three, they're not terrible, they're pretty good. I really like these and I, and I love it when Brahms comes out with new flavors just because, I mean, honestly, I, I don't really review a whole lot of things from Brahms just because everybody goes to Brahms and it's they just have kind of standard things, but when they come out with new stuff, I really love reviewing it. I'm really happy with these flavors um, and I will for sure be getting these, these front three again. Um, and hopefully they stay around for a while because I hope you guys get to try them. Yeah, if you try any of these flavors, make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think. If you guys have any recommendations of flavors that I should try, somewhere I should go, somewhere I should eat, make sure you comment down below or hit me up on Instagram. Um, I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me that you would take the time out of your day to watch me review some ice cream flavors. Make sure you comment, share, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.